Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be starting a small series on Aperture 3. Um, today we're going to go over importing your photos um, and then we're going to go over some presets that you can set up on your Aperture 3 that will make it a little bit easier and how to categorize your photos. So the first thing you want to do when you want to import a photo is you want to go up to the import up at the top here and then you can actually click on your device. I have two different cards um, in my computer at the moment. And as you can see, um, so if I want to import, say, some of these photos, say I don't want to import all of them, I'm going to uncheck all and I'll just highlight the ones I just say, I just want to just import these. So then I'll just click and those are the ones that are going to be imported. So your import settings are all over here. And they're actually really cool, some of the stuff you can do. And if you click up here, you have a bunch of different things that you can do as um, far as presets and stuff like that. One of the coolest ones is, uh, is adjustment presets. I don't use these, but uh, they're down here. And you can actually do presets so when you import photos, it will go on and edit them for you. So if there's a certain way you want to edit them or you like did a wedding and you're doing most of the wedding photos in a certain style, then you can actually go in and make your own preset in Aperture and then set it up here and it will import. Um, and you just go to edit presets and you can really have full control of your photo so you don't have to edit each and every one of them. It just does it for you. Mass produces the preset onto the photo. So that's really cool. I don't use that very often because I like to uh, edit every individual photo. So probably the coolest thing about import settings is, and this is an old address that I used to live at here, um, is you can actually import your photos and it will be imprinted with this metadata information and as you can see it's my um, my address for my old house and then that is actually my real phone number <laughs> so uh, but it, it will actually put all the information onto your photo when it's importing which is really nice because if anybody ever tries to steal your photo they can't they can't take this metadata information out of it. So if you ever have to go to court or something like that over a photo, then, well, you're going to win because all your information is right there uh, in, buried into the photo. Um, other things you can do, you can set up uh, a name for your, for your folder. So when you import them, you can call it something specific. Um, you can do your date, time, and all that. So depending on how you want to, or you can do a custom name with counter. So however you want to set that up. Uh, and then you can go down here, and I just do RAW and Master, um, or you could just do JPEG or just RAW only, depending on what you wanted. And then you click Import, and it will import, and then it will bring you over to Projects. And these are your like different projects in your Aperture 3. Um, and the cool thing is you can kind of scroll through them and see what's in your project if you're looking for a specific photo. Um, and I have all my projects labeled for different different projects I've done. And then you can set up uh, folders here. So um, let's see here. Uh, we could go under My Work, and I could add in different categories. So, or I could go to Edited. If there's photos I've edited, these are some projects that have been edited. Um, it looks like. So uh, how you set these up is all up here. So if I want to do a new project I click here if I want to do a new folder so folders are like the top you put projects into folders so if I want to start a new folder say uh, I've got one already called models down here these are some different photo shoots I've done with models um, then I can call it models and then I got a new model I just imported some photos I'm just gonna throw all those into a project and I'm gonna drag and drop that project into models so say I wanted to say Lexington had to do with something, I would just drag and drop that right into models and boom, it would be there. So I'm just going to take it back out. So that's really nice. So you can really categorize your fo your photos, um, which is really nice. And then up here you can go through and set in information for your Flickr and Facebook. So if you do your editing here in Aperture, then you can shoot them right up to Facebook and Flickr, which I've never actually done, but I guess you give them their information and you pick your photos and they'll be uploaded. Um, and then... Uh, so that's kind of the importing of photos. Now we're going to go over a couple more things and presets um, for today. And we're going to go into preferences. Now you have a lot of different preferences here. And you can go in and, and set uh, Aperture up the way you'd want to. 
Um, this is where you actually put your photo. So I keep mine on an external hard drive. Um, so I have a aperture library on an external hard drive, and that's where it's sent to right here. Appearance, if you want to add more lighting, um, and you can. This all has to do with um, lighting of your back background and everything back here. Uh, import. Here's some of your import settings. Um, if you wanted to set it up so every time you import with a camera, it would just import with uh, aperture. Or I just don't have it. I don't have it set up. So anytime you put it like an SD card in or a camera or anything connected to the computer, aperture will automatically open up and let you import if you want to. But you don't have to. And I don't have it set that way because sometimes I put memory cards in and I don't want to import into aperture. So uh, some of the, probably one of the coolest things is exporting. Now I have CS5 on my computer and say I want to export, I can export my photos right to Photoshop and then export it and then send it right back to Aperture for final edit if I want to edit a little bit more in Aperture. But I just go to choose and we'll go down to applications and then CS5 is right here so I just click on CS5, CS5 and boom. Now it's going to send it to CS5 every time I uh, want to export and I want to go straight to CS5 so I don't have to export the photo into a folder on a hard drive or on my desktop then send it to Photoshop I can just send it straight to Photoshop from Aperture and it just, it's, it just makes things so much easier and I can send it into a TIFF a PSD 8 or 16 bit I just had a TIFF at 16 or 8 bit when I send it uh, and then you can send it in uh, as far as a color um, uh, external edited color space um, I just keep mine. Not, I just don't pick one. And it also has a video one as well. Now, I don't really use Aperture at all for video. You can use it to catalog your video, and then you can send Aperture into, uh, as you see, I've got it set for Final Cut Pro. But I don't really use it that way because, in my opinion, Aperture is more photo-oriented. It's not very video-oriented at all, so it makes it kind of difficult. Uh, and then if you're uh, exporting, I guess, onto the web, you can add copyright information here as well which is really nice now you can go in here and label stuff um, if you want to label certain photos and then this has something to do with previews uh, this is where you would set up your web accounts like your Facebook and Flickr I believe so right here and you just add and you can go on and preset all that up if you want to so you, whenever you do decide to upload photos it's already set up for you and then you have some of your advanced settings and uh, so that's a little bit about, I guess, opening and bringing stuff into Aperture. Uh, we're going to dive into adjustments here soon, and that will be on the next, the next video. I will go over how to kind of do some editing in Aperture and then send it into Photoshop and uh, send it back to Aperture if you need to do final editing. So uh, if you have any questions or things you'd like to know about Aperture, I don't really know. You know I'm just kind of uh, spitballing the series that I'm doing. I'm just going to go over information that I know about Aperture, but if there's stuff that you guys would like to know that I may not use, I will research it and add that into like the series. So I want to teach you guys as much as I can about Aperture here because it's an amazing piece of software. And I don't know as a photographer how I ever lived without it now that I have it. So again, I'm David with Media Unlocked. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook. Facebook.